Hey guys, so today, as you can tell from the title, I'm basically gonna be trying on everything in my closet that I don't wear um, with the intention of maybe finding things that I do like or finding things that I don't wear and it, those things that I don't wear, I'll be selling on Depop. So if you do wanna buy some of the things that I show, my Depop is at Lindsay Rim. I'd also like to give a shout out to some YouTubers that kind of inspired me to do this. Um, I've been watching Where I Live and Best Dressed a lot, and then this video concept is kind of inspired by Arden Rose, but I've also seen those two make videos similar to this about like, you know, going through your closet and keeping things that you would really only like repurchase again. And I really liked that idea personally because there's definitely a lot that I've like, either grown out of or just like never even worn. So first piece of clothing, if you've been following me for a while, you've probably seen this jacket. I used to be obsessed with it. I definitely haven't worn it since like maybe sophomore year of college. So like two years, uh, it's just been sitting in my closet. It's really well made. It's just beautiful. Let me know what you guys think. I have a feeling I'll probably just keep this in my closet for like another two years until I can get rid of it just because I did love it so much. This next one it needs to go to a good home because the only reason I don't wear it is because it is not cold in California. Okay, so as you can tell, this sweater is Unif and I do, I, I love Unif and I do really like the look of this sweater. It's pretty much never cold enough to wear this. Like I think I worn it once. I don't even know how to describe like how thick this is. It's like extremely thermal. This would be great if it was like snowing. I also feel like it just would be more flattering on someone with a smaller chest than me. I feel like that might just be like a slight insecurity of mine, but like thick sweaters I feel like just aren't ever as flattering on like me. Should I keep this for my future or what? This shirt from Nasty Gal is, is not a shirt. Things don't necessarily stay in place. For me, so I'd recommend this if you have smaller than a C cup, but if you would like to buy it, I can totally put it on Depop. It's adorable, like it has a really cute vibe. So this next shirt is from Princess Polly, and if you can't tell, it has one sleeve, one shoulder. For the longest time, like since I've owned this, I just haven't really been able to decide for myself if I think it's like cute or not. Like is this too strange or is it cute? I just can't decide. I feel like I'd maybe wear it for like a Matrix costume. I, okay, I didn't expect this, but I bought this from Urban Outfitters and I thought it didn't really fit well. Like I tried on a medium in store and was like, oh, I'll fit a small. Let me just order a small to my house. I don't even need to try it on. And then it came and I thought it was too, too like baggy or it didn't fit right. But now that I tried it on, I think I like it. Cause I, I really love like small patterned tops like this. I really like this kind of shirt. I'm gonna keep it. I mean, I'm gonna keep it. Like it definitely could probably use some minor tailoring but it's nice. Like maybe I'll wear this for Thanksgiving. This next beautiful little silky number is such a gorgeous top to begin with. It is so soft and silky and I love how it drapes, but this color just washes me out. I do love tops like this though. Like I love wearing them with like a denim skirt and like some boots to go out in or just like with some like, you know, nice jeans like this. It's a beautiful look, but this color is just, just not for me. So this top, as you can see, has a tie in the back and it's adorable, but the straps just like don't really stay up on me. I just have like a hundred black t-shirts and tank tops and tube tops and I just, I don't need all of them. And this one I, I don't really wear too often. So if this is your style, check it out on the Depop, guys. It's from Princess Polly. We have another wrap top from Princess Polly. This one just does not cover much, and so I never wear it. Um, I love the pattern. It's like so beautiful. It has little flowers, and I love like the little, the ruffles. Uh, it's beautiful. It's from Princess Polly, but I would recommend it for like a size US two to four, whereas I'm more of like a four to six. So yeah, it's cute, but I'm gonna be putting it up on my Depop. I feel like I used to wear tops like this all the time. Like the little like lacy lingerie top with like a t-shirt look was like the newest thing. It was so cool. And I'm not opposed to it. I definitely still wear like tank tops and stuff with t-shirts or like dresses with a t-shirt. And this one just hasn't been getting any love in my closet. And I do think it's really pretty. So 
If any of you are interested, it'll be on the Depop. It's really soft, it's like a cotton material. So before I put this on, I'll show you how long it is. It's like a nice mini dress. This dress is from Urban Outfitters and I was obsessed with it at the time. Like I do love the material, it's really silky and shiny, it feels great to wear. Um, but just the overall shape of it, I feel like I don't wear it as much as it should be worn for how pretty it is. Like it just, yeah, it doesn't really offer a lot to my body anymore or much happiness to me, which is sad. It really used to. Clothes are fleeting. This next piece, as you can tell, is a black sweater with some distressing, the sides have little tie up bow details. I bought this from Nasty Gal when Nasty Gal was at its peak before it went bankrupt right when they had the new stores in LA. I was like so excited to go to the store and buy something there. So I bought this for definitely way too much money and I haven't really worn it at all. I've maybe worn it like twice. I've held on to it for so many years because of that fact, because it has that like nostalgia factor, but I never wear it. So it's time to get it out of my closet because I have no space for storing sweaters. I literally throw everything on top that's a sweater, like sweaters and sweatshirts. Oh, next up, we have another Unif item. This is a like sheer top with little flames on it, if you can't tell. I've never worn this and I have owned it for over two years. I think it'd be really cute at a festival, but like every time I go to wear it, I end up wearing a different sheer shirt that I have. So next we have this vintage guest t-shirt that I have had for a while. I was super excited when I thrifted it, but I didn't try it on at the flea market. I just saw this logo and like had to get it because I love the color combo with like the red and this this block letter type, but I just don't love the fit of it. I really, I rarely wear things that have like a large neck to them. This is the actual last thing in this video. Uh, it is a red skirt from Brandy Melville and uh, you can't even see in this video but it's too short. It's way too short. I shouldn't own this for the age that I am. Every time I wear it, it just like gets even shorter when I walk, like it hikes up. So I feel like I should give this to someone that is like either in high school or just like smaller than me. I don't know. I think it, it fits better right now because I haven't eaten lunch yet, but usually this is just uh, absolute no-go. And I think it's one of those things that I need to get out of my closet so I don't just like wear it one day when I'm feeling crazy. So that is everything in my closet that I've been trying to get rid of for the past like couple of years. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe uh, for more content. Hit that notification bell if you actually want to see the content. Let me know if you want to see more videos in front of this little closet. I think there's a lot of weird fun stuff in there to be talking about. That's about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out the Depop link below if you're interested in buying any of these items or just shopping on Depop in general. It's a great place. It's like a, uh, it's a dangerous. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and I will see you all with a new video very soon. Bye guys.